Hey y'all, welcome back. Jeremy from thetruthaboutguns.com. T-Tag here, out on the range in Texas. And I know what you're thinking, Jeremy is taking this Texas thing a little bit too far, but you can't see my cowboy boots, so it's even further than that. But uh, that's true, I have, but that has nothing to do with today's video. Today's video is about Bullet Safe. This is a $299 level 3A bulletproof vest. And bulletproof vests are certified, right? It is certified by NIJ to stop up to a 44 Magnum handgun round. Basically any normal handgun round, this vest is going to stop it. It's pretty lightweight, relatively thin, definitely affordable compared to a lot of the options out there. There's a link in the video description about Bullet Safe, but you know, you know what we're here to do. I have another panel, just like a front panel from this same vest. I've got it set up on our ballistics dummy down there. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start with 44 Magnum, why not? Then we're gonna shoot some nine millimeter, maybe a couple other things, maybe a nine millimeter machine gun. And we'll see how the vest holds up. Let's get to it. Here we are, Central Texas, a little bit past high noon, not far from where the Sam Bass gang shot A.W. Grimes. We're gonna give our buddy a little test with Federal 240 grain 44 Magnum uh, jacketed hollow points. These are not 44 special, these are not light loads. Full house, 44 mag. I'm gonna put two into this vest. And then we're gonna test this vest way beyond what it's designed for, meaning just round after round after round. Um, you know, it's designed to stop a couple of bullets, right? It's not designed to stop magazines full of nine millimeter, and especially after 44 mag, but we're gonna abuse it a little bit. And I've got these shopping bags behind here to show any penetration. Uh, yep. I'm just walking like, I don't know, 10 feet back, 10 feet. This is close up and personal. I might be, might be eight feet. Yep, that knocked him for a loop. You would not want to get hit by this penetration or not. One more. All right. Oh, I'm tempted to open this up, but I think I'm just gonna sneak in there, see if we got any penetration. I ran out of tape putting this thing on. I knew I should have grabbed some bungee cords. Uh, um, this is 44 mag in the middle. I'm gonna choose a different spot to do nine millimeter, and then one other, one other interesting round that I brought, and then we'll take this off and see what it looks like underneath. Two rounds of 115 grain plus P plus jacketed, fully jacketed hollow points out of this Tara TM9X from Montenegro. Same thing, just gonna be like eight feet away. All right, it's about an inch apart. And the nine mil, inch and a half, down here. Now, got something really special. I'm gonna shoot a pia. Here's the deal. This should penetrate. This is a 2,000 foot per second, 95 grain solid copper projectile from the FK Bruno uh, PSD. It's a really, really fast round. It is way beyond what a level 3A vest is certified and expected to stop. So with apologies to Bullet Safe, this isn't really fair. I'm just curious. If it stops this, definitely impress. This would be a special threat that is stopping something that it shouldn't, that it isn't certified for. This one was high. Oh, uh, you know what? That actually missed the protective part of the vest. It did go through. This is just fabric up here. That does not count. Uh, oh, it stopped it. You guys, it stopped it. That's impressive. Buckshot, buckshot. All right, I realize before I go crazy with the double lot, I gotta look under here because we'll lose which bullets are which once I cover it with double lot. That's embarrassing. Okay. Woo-wee. 
we have some denting from that 44 mag. This is definitely hard to tell on camera. There's no pass through, definitely not. I feel the bullets in here. It has not gone through the Kevlar. I can see the layers very clearly. There's a layer of plastic behind this to prevent any like splinters of Kevlar. And uh, it was enough force on this rubber dummy to go ahead and tear the backing of this. And, oh, geez. Uh, but no pass through. And you can see that 7.5 FK. Yeah, it tore the backing on this guy too, but no pass through. And then those nine millimeter rounds are right here. You can't even tell really that anything happened. I can open this up. So there's a little, you know, strike soft armor insert in here. And uh, yeah, I can't even see the bullets. I've done this in the past where you can see the bullet in there, kind of pluck it out. Not the case on the back side of this. Even with that FK, it's fully encapsulated. But as you can see, based on just the, the blunt force trauma tearing of this bag, you really don't want to be behind a 44 Magnum from like eight feet away. That would do a lot of trauma, but nine millimeter, it didn't even tear the bag. Didn't tear this at all. You'd be alive. Let's do a shotgun and then one more special treat. Whew. God, it's hot out here. Remington 870 DM. That's detachable magazine. And we are going to shoot some Magnum double aught buckshot. I think there's nine pellets in each. Let me tell you, this is a cool gun. If you haven't shot it, consider yourself lucky. It hurts. Kind of sucks to shoot. Double aught buck, forget about it. But for y'all, low and left on that one shot from the hip because uh well if you shot this before you'd know why i shot from the hip get a little closer here we go oh yeah that was dead center no problem no problem at all for this vest i mean that lead buckshot it's pretty soft we got dead center that's a tight group that's only like a one and a half inch spread with nine pellets of double aught got a pretty good dent this thing puffed out as all of those kevlar layers expanded and caught the buck but there's no damage on the backside. certainly no pass through he's probably in some pain fortunately without the tape i can't get that guy to stay on the rubber dummy so i just kind of threw it on the berm there that's the best i can do see if i can get 20 rounds of again 115 grain plus p plus nine millimeter onto this vest Yeah, I see them. They're on it. See if any went through. <laughs> well, this thing is now puffed up like a balloon animal. I mean, all of those layers just expand, 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 and they basically stay expanded what, with all the bullet fragments in there, and they're somewhat stiff. And uh, guess what, guys? No penetration. Let's see if I can get this out of the shell. We did have some tearing. But we didn't get any actually that went through the insert, which is pretty cool. Some little piece of bullet fragment. Got all sorts of bullets in here. I'll dig those out later and put a picture on the end of the video. Awesome. Eh, there might have been one that snuck through. They all went right in almost the same spot, which is exactly where that double lot buckshot hit. We do have a crack in the plastic. I'm seeing bullets and I feel bullets in here. So if, if one of them snuck through, that one definitely didn't. It barely snuck through. Man, I tell you what, if it'll protect you from that, you need to be protected from that. You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, there's a link in the video description to Bullet Safe where you can find these. Again, great deal for a really nice level 3A vest. Uh, please like and subscribe, especially over on Rumble. And we'll see you guys out here next time.